So hello, I am Hi. so excited to meet with you. Um, for those of you who are tuning in, we're speaking to Autumn Yar Yarborough. Yes, ma'am. You got yeah. it perfectly. And she has some like very, very, very enlightening information for us. Absolutely. I am Autumn Yarbrough. I'm the founder of New Standard because we believe in always setting a new standard. And even to your point, that new standard in beauty and being a disruptor there. Uh, we have introduced Hydrasilk, which is made for professionals. Uh, it is to de designed, it's a bond system product that is designed to continue the livelihood of healthy hair. And for those that are over having challenges to overcome them. We believe that product belongs in the hands of the professional because we believe the professional partnership with someone like you is very critical to overcoming those challenges. Right. As well as getting those hair goals once we get those challenges. So right. we've been fortunate to be uh, in all distributions of Cosmoprof and Armstrong McCall across the country uh, to access our products for professionals. Uh, they just provided Black-owned, Black-founded products the beginning of the year on shelf. Yes, so I know. We can't have representation, but I would say to all those that desire to do product, we need more. We need more representation in the Black community yes. and in minority communities and in the women community so uh i'm I, we need more of us on the shelf together yes we do we do because you know there was a time when everybody that was their claim to fame is being on that box but now we don't want to be on that on that parent box okay yeah. like that was the thing like yeah relax our hair make it straight you know and for commercial purposes i have to admit when i shaved my head and then when i went out with wigs on the conversation was different you know, the head turns were different, like, and I feel like people do, you know, look at you differently, depending on, on your hair, even though we should not be defined by our hair, because back in the day, I didn't even know, like, when they were doing the braiding and the cornrows, there were maps and roads that they were, you know, doing in the braids to tell them where to go and how to get out. I didn't know, like, you know, it symbolized so much of our culture. Our culture is based in our hair. And that what makes us different because we can straighten our hair and with and we can wear an, an afro. Everybody, I don't know another race that can diversify their hair like we can with our own natural hair. What we can do with it when we wet it and when we don't. So someone asked me, they said, with a relaxer, they said there's chemicals, but what about hair dye? And I said, oh, that's the question for Autumn tomorrow because now I'm not fixing <laughs> my hair, but I'm coloring it. So I'm like, wait a minute. Yep. Like, is yep. it the same thing? It is not the same thing, but when somebody approaches and tells me they're natural and I see the structure of their hair still in, you know, whether it's a C form, Z form, but then they're blonde. Yeah. You have to remind them they're not natural. They're chemically treated. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, you're bringing up very, very important points just from the history of our heritage and hair and the power with that. I love to call it black hair magic um, mm -hmm. straight up there. Um, but then also bringing in something that is I grew up in with the relaxer world. And I was one of those girls that was on the side of the box. So just for me back in the yes. day. Yes. <laughs> OK. But I Who's was that one girl. Of, yes. But I was that girl. <laughs> Um, in 99, that I decided to um, depart from using relaxers. So a lot of the changes that are happening in the Black community of finding new ways of taking care of their hair, not being so dependent on relaxers is yeah. critical. And then just also understanding chemicals and somehow some of these chemicals, whether it's relaxers, straighteners, keratins, color, bleach, understanding that, making yeah. sure our community is protected with those um with those ingredients and having the health department more involved in our community and products that are being offered on the shelf because yeah. keep in mind those products on the shelf are registered through the fda and one of the things of fda approved and registered are two different things fda oh. approved is through drug use uh -huh. so get fda approval and we put that on our website so people are aware of the difference of fda 
FDA registered means my product has no drug active ingredients, nothing harmful that is on, you know, the regulatory list. However, it's registered through FDA. So we're compliant so it can be sold to the consumer. So uh -huh. most products on the shelf um, are FDA registered, but FDA uh -huh. approved is when there's an active drug ingredient. But to your point of your doctor, I'm a big fan of supplements. So uh -huh. um, that is actually what got us started from your story about hair loss. Yes. Uh, actually, on our team, we have a two-time cancer survivor along with you. Wow. So, I mean, wow. it's fascinating to see her whole, whole life change. Yes, uh, a whole life change. Are, you're both a force within and definitely in my superhero. She keeps me going. I call her my warrior princess. <laughs> uh, and so, yeah. and very, but don't kill you, makes you stronger. And that's I'm exactly, it's exactly correct. And this, the the ability to fight through. And then also to your point of beauty and how to, you know, set a new standard when you have to depart from having your hair define you. Right. And that initial part is hard, but just like you said, you found ways to make sure it didn't define you. And then again, talking about, I got face when you said right, that. Right. I was like, oh, I didn't even know I had face. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say would be the first step to having the alternative solution like um, in regards to your products? Yeah, so I definitely say the first step is to go on our website, hydrosilkpro.com, that provides understanding of bond systems. Okay. Or you, that's, and then we have another website, and that's new. N U standing for necessary understanding. Okay. Standard. So N U standard hair.com. Okay. That also breaks down just the hair cycles from inside and out, but also the bond system technology. I have never really met anybody, and you probably may agree, that had a hair challenge or was striving for hair goals and was able to achieve them by themselves. Yeah, never. Most of the time, and I believe in this partnership with the professional, I believe in respecting the license. My hair is where it's at because of partnering with the professional. Yes. That's what makes me slightly unique from being third generation in the hair care business. Right, right. I believe in that. And due to that partnership, I believe in the professional products of bond systems. Mm -hmm. I believe systems are best used through the professional, not through the consumer. But right. what the bond systems do is protect the hair that when it grows out, it protects that cuticle. So the follicle pushes it out. Then it protects yes. this cuticle, this beautiful strand. And it works the strand from the inside out. And mm -hmm. that strand has things called bonds. And those bonds help keep the hair together. And you were talking about some of the challenges and when, you know, growing your hair out, how hard, how long. And at the end yeah. of the day, it's like, I need to get my convenience wear out because I just don't want to deal. Yeah. My dream is that pain point because that's a pain point that really digs deep because I want especially textured hair in the black community yeah. to have access to products that they can use to making their hair, their daily routines easier. Yes, Cause it is a okay. daily routine. Like, and like this morning I was dressed and ready to go, but then I was brushing and brushing and I only like do this for the funny interview. And I said, I should <laughs> let her, you know, really see but I was like, no, because it's colored. And then I'm like, she's going to be judging me. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Good, because that's what makes, I understand the pain points. Right. I I understand so the I'm pain like points. Brushing and I'm, yep. I have this other brush that wasn't for that, but it stimulates my scalp. Yes. Like I learned that it was supposed to be for the cellulite. And I was like, oh, you know what? <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> but what I did, I even started washing my hair in alkaline water because I read a book and they were saying how sometimes water, the acidity in it is just not good for your follicles. So I started doing research on follicles. Like, do you have like uh, a regimen that you could suggest if somebody was to say, this is what you need to do every morning. What would be the four things you would suggest? Well, first of all, the hair starts from within. Yes. So that's why when, you know, people start to realize from stress, losing their hair, there's not enough 
anything from stimulating the scalp to topicals will not stop hair loss if we don't do the things to take care of the body on the inside. I, oh my goodness. I'm a super fan of what you stated about taking supplements and certain herbs and we provide supplements and that it was basically what got me started because I was suffering hair loss myself. Mine was stress induced, but if I didn't get a hold of it, it was going right. to be a permanent problem. Um, you know, and a lot of times we want to provide preventative care care and yes. supplements do that. And I didn't want to go the route of minoxidil, the drug right. says, girlfriend, minoxidil is like a boyfriend that you got to keep forever. Pay yeah. bills. And then if you break up, he takes not only what he gave you, but everything you, you gave him. So yeah, and that's you have to be very care. careful because you have to continue it for the rest of your life. Wow. And if once you stop, you not, like I said, the hair stops you know, it starts to fall out what you didn't have. And then also what you did have comes out along with it. Wow. So these are some of the challenges I say, start from the inside. I would also say for number two, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Yes. Hydrate, hydrate, water. Hydrate. water, water, water. So yay. <laughs> so hydrate. I love that you say, that. I'm like, that's perfect. Because my next one is a partnership with the professional. Yes. So this is what the professional does. Not only are they your hair therapist, yes. but they're also going to do treatments that you're not able to do yourself. Yeah. And I definitely recommend that because when you do read treatments like the Hydra Silk Hydrating Bond System, yes. and reconstructive service, you then have longevity of your hair, not only being hydrated from the strands, so you're using yeah. less products, Lowering your porosity so you stop breakage. Breakage is a key factor with textured hair. And then also it is strengthening those bonds yeah. and stopping less shedding because of the product and you're using less product. So you actually end up saving money. You can wake up and have easier time. And it's one of those products like vitamins. The more you're doing it consistently. Yes. Consistently, not every week. Yeah. Once a month is good enough. And really? Once, that, a, month once a month is good enough? Once a month is good enough, then you'll start to see your hair challenges diminish. And then you'll see a whole different life. And then you'll notice I'm only using one to two products. Yeah. I'm not so dependent on 10 products, doing cocktails, complaining nothing works for me. Right. You know, all of that. Because you end up spending hundreds of dollars monthly because you're using a product. It works for the month. And then all of a sudden you're like, okay, this is not working anymore. To and your you point, stop doing it though. Doing when you see results, you just stop. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> like, like going on a diet and then you lose 10. Oh, yes. Like, yes. And that's oh, it's, I'm celebrating at the, the goal. Oh, and <laughs> yes. But well, the cool thing I love about hair and when you partner with the professional, you start to see the changes happen. So that you is so true. Barely stop. It's not even it's like you start to see your hair fuller. You start to see it longer and you start to see it easily manageable. And yeah. my strong belief is you ain't, you're not going to let it go and the way it feels. So right. you immediately feel the results. Like when you get one done, you're like, wow. Yeah. Then the other part is, again, the care factor, understanding those environmental stressors. I would say the environment, there are free ways to take better care of your hair. So you're not constantly out of your pocketbook right. to product after product. A lot of times we have products there that mask the symptom versus focus on the cure of the problem. Right. And one of the biggest things beyond hair loss is that dryness factor. So we yeah. make sure do certain things, provide certain tools for the busy woman on the go when it comes to caring for her hair when she's out of the chair from the stylist. So right. those are the four things I would definitely say to focus on um, when you're thinking about how do I adopt a positive hair care routine? And it doesn't right. have to necessarily be always, you know, daily. But again, the daily thing is hydrated supplements. I strongly advise magnesium, vitamin D, you know. What we'll about, colli um, is it, coll not collagen. Um, Collagen's good. Is it collagen, the powder? You do have collagen powders that helps with the cuticle and yeah. the 
and definitely also the collagen with the scalp. We like to do vegetarian base, but I know with vegan base, it starts to get tricky for our results. A lot okay. of times when you have vegan base, it just takes longer. Um, okay. but there's not, mm -mm. it, the protein just takes longer. So I'm always big on like marine base, vegetarian base, you know, any of those things um, really help push the needle um, by all means. Um, I would also say, um, um, I'm trying to think, and I don't have my vitamins with me to think about all the ingredients that we have, oh. but um, definitely bamboo extract is really good. Um, mm -hmm. That is one I would uh, trump over sea moss. I think, I mean, again, but then I'm very honest right. and transparent that a lot of the botanicals, they're great, but they're not going to move the needle as hardcore vitamins. So your vitamin right. is hardcore vitamin. your vitamin D, your magnesium, right. some iron. Yeah of your car with the oil changes you need to pretend your body is your car and your engine you got to make sure that check yeah, engine that's a good analogy. And floor, you know all my headlights look a little dim you know <laughs> all my tires up to, 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 you know as full as they can yes. you have to look at all of that and more people don't you know it's only it's, it's sad that when something tragic is happening then you you go through but when you're normally a healthy person of course if something's not right you're like okay something is not right here you know if your car is always running and not jerking when it starts jerking you pull into the mechanic exactly. but sometimes our bodies jerk and we just keep going like is like are, are you serious do you not see you jerking right you Ma'am, you know you're jerky. <laughs> no, exactly. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just our nature to not take care of it. And that's yep. something we've got to stop. Yep. Yeah. So I'm glad you had emphasis on it beginning within. Because okay. stress can make your hair fall out. Yep. Okay. Stress does so much on the body, your whole digestive system, you know? Yep. So vitamins are so essential. And um, I just love when I was reading everything about your product and what you're pushing, everything about it made sense. Thank you. It did. So, um, you know, shout out to you for being a third generational person that's actually caring about your hair. Because our hair as women is our crown, you yeah. know? And we just have to make sure that it's right. Because besides your smile, what do people notice first about you? Hair, eyes, and smile, right? Period. <laughs> and skin. And skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. And the vitamins and water, all of that's good for all of that. Yes, ma'am. Um, um, what about the Hydra Silk? You know, people, the, um, I notice now when people do chemo, sometimes they put the, the bag on their head. Um, some bag they put on their head to keep it moisturized as they are, they're blowing, I don't know what it is they're doing. It's mm. in something. Is it Super a hair hack or something? Falling out. No, it's like someone comes in with this whole thing and they put a bag over your head mm. and it's connected to something and they say it's, it's infusing something so to make your hair lots less likely to fall out if you have very long hair. Yeah, I, have to remember, I mean, there's all unique things, innovation all the time. Yeah. I mean, the level of innovation is more so in the product itself and making sure that this product can work on us. Right. And when I say us, I speak of four, you know, I speak of the textured hair community and I speak of the black community right. that we are a part of innovative products at the inception of R&D. So we're being included in the best products that are being made available. That was another pain point. I'm sure you may have experienced when there's this amazing product, you hear about it, right. but it didn't work for you. Or if it works for you, you also have to invest in more than the average person that doesn't look right. like you. Yeah. Which I like, wait a minute. Now you can't so, do it because you can't afford it. Well, and now what we do is we make sure our products are definitely made for us, but everyone else, because I don't want anyone to be excluded because I know the pain of how a product is made and we're excluded from the formulation right. at the beginning. So it doesn't really work. 
Wow. You know? um, and that's what I wanted to make sure. So we champion ourselves, especially with the HydroSilk product, black owned, made for all. And that's what we champion ourselves with all of our products. I like that. Made for us, by us. <laughs> for us, by for us. Made for us, by us. <laughs> Move. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Um, all the information has been very informative and delightful. And pass down that generational wealth. You Absolutely. understand what that means? Because you can talk about what your grandfather did that's benefiting you to this day. Absolutely. Right. And I will just end with this. What he ultimately did is had integrity in the hair care industry oh, as a so if you plan on doing generational business either if you're the first generation the second and want that to continue on it's all about the integrity yes. and because of his integrity and in being a good person a good human it made it easier for me to be able to talk pitch work still has to be done Right. Nothing changes because people that see what you're doing, they're wanting to support the opportunity through manufacturing or marketing or lend. They want to see you work yes. and they want to see you work hard. Yep. However, the integrity, if you are doing well and you want generational business to continue, the integrity, having that makes it easier for your kids, kids and continuing. Oh, so that's everything. Forever, that. a million years for that. So bad news travels fast. Yes, it hey, does. Yeah, you said that he travels fast. Me and, the, and then the grandkids are having to make up for your mistakes and everything. Yeah, else. and then they're so, just using their middle yeah, name. No, he did a wonderful Look, they're just using their first and middle name. <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't even want to be affiliated with the mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly it. You want to be proud of your last name. Like, yeah. a name meant something back in the day. And for a lot of people, it's all in the name. All you have is your name, your reputation, and your work. That's it. And your word. Yes. Okay. Yes, and I love that you said that because so many people are just getting away from that. You know, I'm like, chivalry is not dead. Okay. That part. <laughs> that part. <laughs> Thank I you agree. so much. You've been delightful. You too. I can't wait to continue to keep in touch. Thank you. Yes. yes. Thank you. And you have a great day. You too. Bye.